Next-gen American, Jared Donaldson, is a rising star on the ATP World Tour. The 19-year-old has reached a career-high ranking this season and is eager to continue his climb. Guys are just really skilled here, you know, they don't, they're aggressive and uh, you can't have kind of a lapse in uh, mental concentration. You always have to be focused and fight for every point and uh, make sure that you're playing uh, aggressive tennis at all times. He's always been a really driven kid, works hard um, and has dreams and really wants to do his best to uh, come as close to his dreams and accomplish them as best as possible. On the practice court every day, that's what you fight, that's what you fight for, that's what you run to the extra ball for to say, I want to get there, I want to be, I want to be like that. He's a pretty hungry kid, as a lot of players are, but he's someone who shows it. And he's really fiery on court too, but when he harnesses it the right way, it shows a, a good amount of passion. You needed to, to mature as a, a person emotionally more than anything else on the court, which is understandable, and I think he's improved that. He didn't play a lot of juniors, so he's really gone through the hard way trying to make it up just through the pros, and he's slowly but steadily making those breakthroughs. Jared grew up in New England, playing on hard courts, which usually meant indoor tennis, when the rallies tend to be much shorter. That really uh, hampered my game in some areas where I was a great striker of the ball and could hit you know, well off both sides on my ground strokes, but wasn't that great of a mover. Didn't really excel at uh, setting up points all that great or having a lot of spin and margin on my shots. And what better way to get that than playing on clay, which is basically all Argentina has. So at 14 years of age, Jared and his dad moved to train in Argentina. Walking through the airport and thinking to myself, oh my goodness, what did we just do? You know, we're uh, 7,000 miles away from home um, and uh, everything's in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, Jared doesn't speak Spanish. What are we gonna do? Got set up with a coach and figured it was the best for my tennis. So for two and a half years, it was a great learning, um, learning curve that I went through and a great tool for me to, to get better and improve. I think it's a good experience for any of the kids to, to start a little bit on clay. And it gives him a better understanding of how to construct a point. I think it really helped him learn how to create points and, and set them up and, and finish points on clay uh, as opposed to just kind of the one-two punch that a lot of Americans learn of, of a huge serve and huge forehand. His movement got so much better. His de he learned defense. Um, he started to hit with a lot more shape on his shots, a lot more spin, so he had a much more, lot more margin to play longer points. On clay, there are, all, there are a lot of extended rallies, and, that, and it taught me how to stay in, in, the, in a point, uh, multiple shots rather than just a few and go for a bailout. It was a great progression over time um, to see his tennis game really expand beyond what he used to play uh, indoors up in uh, Rhode Island. At the end, it got a little hard being away from family, friends, and just in a different culture. It was tough for me because I didn't speak the language. I do miss it at times, but it's tough being away from, from, your, from your home as well. Upon his return from Argentina, Jared partnered with former players, Phil and Taylor Dent. I just remember uh, going through, Googling different players and seeing what they were up to, and uh, all of a sudden, Phil Dent, the serve doctor, popped up, and I said, hmm, the serve doctor. So we made the decision to come out to California and, and train with Taylor and Phil at, the, at, at their academy. They looked at Jared's serve, and I looked at Phil, and I said, so do you think we need to add more spin? And he said, mate, we got to change everything. We did quite a few changes to begin with, and then the last, I think, um, month we changed it again. Like a new service motion was gonna take time, and it has taken time, and I think we're pretty close to getting to where we wanted to be. But I think a little bit at a time, that's why it's gonna, it's gonna be a journey for him. I think for this year, it's all about getting better and keep improving, and work on my fitness and my ability to take the ball early and stay aggressive and just improve my overall game. And if I did that, I would, be, I would be very happy. As he gets stronger, he will get better. And he, he's a kid who will keep on improving. So that's, that's a good thing. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the big one in the Big Apple, the 2016 US Open gets underway. And we've an exclusive with an American player making waves, Steve Johnson. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.